This is my slide on coagulation. Okay, if you look at the coagulation topic, so at the top of page, you will see a table there uh, about different sizes of particles, okay, and the settling velocity. Right. So from that table, what I'm trying to say, if you have a coarse sand, bigger size of sand, it will, uh, what it means, okay, in one second, it will go down a distance of 0 0.23 meters. So if you have a smaller size of particle, okay, in one minute, it will go down to 0 0.6 meters. And once you have an even, even smaller size of particles, like silt, silt is like a very small particles. Uh, if you do not have a filter, normally if you, um, you, you boil your water and you, you put it in a bottle like this, okay, for after a few days, you will see small particles underneath, okay? So it's like brownish color, okay? Then uh, in one day, it will go down at a distance of 8.6 meters. And then if you have colloids, even smaller size in one year, it will go down to 0 0.3 meters. And let's say if you have fine colloids uh, in one million year, it will go down to a distance of three meters. Okay. So what kind of uh, assumption or what kind of conclusion you can make? <laughs> Anyone would like to give a guess? Smaller particle. Uh, take a longer time. So I saw, I, I thought it was a fig or something. I mind, is it? Right. So those are, yeah, basically, once you have a very smaller particle of size, it will take a very long time to settle. So, in other words, we would like to form a very big size of particles, okay, like that, so that it can easily be removed. So that is the purpose of coagulation forming smaller particles to becoming greater size of so that it will go down uh, very fast. So what are colloidal particles? Okay, so basically any particles in water that will give or contribute to the color and the turbidity of the water. So it gives color and turbidity. So what are they? They consist mainly of clay, silts, viruses, bacteria, fulvic and humic acid and organic particulates. And normally, these particles or these colloidal particles are all negatively charged okay when the ph of water is greater than four so they themselves have a very large ratio and surface area to the volume so you can assume that most of the colloidal particles are negatively charged okay because we rarely find water uh, with uh, very low ph okay so normally our river I don't deny the fact that some rivers are quite acidic, but normally uh, the river that we generally see is um, greater, than, uh, the pH is greater than 4.